Chapter 1 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Descent of the Heavenly Path List Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, Human Child, How Dare You to Trespass My Stone Devil Mountain Are You Lost? The infamous stone demon's voice was like a bell that shook Li Yu to the point his eardrums hurt. He could not help but dig his ear with his fingers. The stone demon in front of him was more than three meters tall. Its skin was rock dot like, seeming like it was wearing heavy iron armor. With the scarlet copper hammer in hand, the ground trembled as he moved. It was the demon that terrorized the Grand Xia dynasty, Chirpatian. Rumor has it that it was once a huge divine stone that suppressed evil and baleful influences. However, as it absorbed the essence of the sun and moon and the baleful miasma over the years, it cultivated into a spiritual being and transformed into a powerful monster. Its cultivation was rather advanced, incomparably powerful while possessing an almost imperishable body. Even the most powerful sect in the Grand Xia dynasty, the Jade Pure Dao sect, could not do anything to it. They had sent experts to subdue it multiple times, but they all returned in defeat. Ha ha ha. He he he. The lesser demons in the surroundings roared with laughter as well. As if they were looking at a fool, they looked at the elegant, handsome, sixteen or seventeen dot year dot old Li Yu. Not even the old Taoist priest of the Jade Pure Dao sect dared to come alone. A brat like him who was still wet behind the ears actually dared to come over and seek death. They could already imagine the scene of Li Yu being smashed into minced meat by Sherpatian. Li Yu did not speak. He brushed off the dust on his robe and silently pulled out the sword behind him. The surrounding lesser demons laughed even louder, and they even cried out in excitement. You're courting death. Seeing Li Yu unsheathe his sword, Sherpatian stomped his foot, causing the earth to tremble. The surrounding lesser demons nearly fell to the ground. However, Li Yu was as steady as an old dog. He did not say a word as he slashed out with his sword. There were no spectacular sword gleams or fancy special effects. It was an ordinary strike. Swoosh. The air seemed torn apart. The stone demon froze. Then, like a fragile clay sculpture, it shattered into pieces with a bang. Silence. The laughter of the lesser demons stopped abruptly. They witnessed everything in shock. It was as if they had seen a ghost. The terrifying Sherpatian with extraordinary strength was actually, insta. killed by this young Daoist sword in one strike. If they had not seen it with their own eyes, they would never believe it. This, this young Daoist was too terrifying. Run. All the lesser demons were terrified to the point their souls left their bodies, and they immediately fled in all directions like frightened birds, causing blades, spears, halberds, axes, and hooks to fall to the ground. Li Yu could not be bothered with those monsters and silently walked forward. He bent down and picked up the stone demon's scarlet copper hammer. This hammer was the real purpose of his trip. Ding, successful collection of the scarlet copper hammer. The system's voice sounded. Li Yu was calm. He casually kept the hammer in the storage space of the system. This system had accompanied him through his transmigration. He could not really put a finger on what this system was. It was a little difficult to explain. Simply put, it could allow him to fight monsters and level up like a game character. However, a mission panel suddenly appeared a few days ago. It began to release system missions to obtain experience points after completing them. If he failed, he would lose ten times the experience points. His main task was to develop his sect into the number one sect in the Great Xia Dynasty. Of course, in order to achieve this purpose, many small missions were required. For example, he could take in various geniuses, collect various divine weapons, cultivation techniques, natural oddities, and so on, all to strengthen his sect. Strange, why haven't my experience points increased at all after killing this stone demon? Li Yu was puzzled as he looked at the experience bar in front of him that looked like a progress bar. The data displayed was 
you are still 13.1415926, away from becoming invincible. Logically speaking, there should be changes after he killed this powerful stone demon. Right at this moment, the stone devil mountain beneath Li Yu's feet suddenly trembled violently, and it was as if the mountain was collapsing. A roar that seemed to come from nine nether resounded. So this stone mountain is its true form. Li Yu murmured in his heart, but he remained expressionless. The next second. The stone mountain beneath his feet rose and transformed into a huge stone monster. Terrifying demonic power began to spread, making the world seem discolored. Li Yu frowned slightly. He stomped his feet and leaped into the air before he slashed down with his sword. Boom! It was as if this sword was about to split heaven and earth apart. Space became twisted to the extreme, emitting thunderous booms. The terrifying might of the sword poured down as the stone demon's roar stopped. Its red eyes widened in horror. Bang 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 bang. The stone demon that had just transformed collapsed again. The ground beneath it collapsed as well. All in a single strike. Sherpatian, the great demon that struck fear into countless sects and made commoners of Qin Prefecture tremble. Thought it got utterly obliterated. A bottomless rift that was a few kilometers long and more than ten meters wide appeared on the ground, like a natural chasm. Countless lesser demons got pulverized by the strike. Sigh, I used too much strength. Li Yu scratched his head. At this moment, the experience bar in front of him finally moved. However, it was still only an increase in value after the decimal point. At least there was an improvement. Moreover, it was a small step towards completing the system mission. After killing this stone demon, Li Yu did not stay longer and flew out of the mountain. After some time, a group of cultivators in the Jade Pure Dao Sex Daoist robes flew over. Today, they gathered the top experts of their sex to eradicate the demon, Sherpatian, who was wreaking havoc in Qin Prefecture. However, when they arrived at Stone Devil Mountain, they were stunned by the scene in front of them. The Stone Devil Mountain had disappeared, and a huge chasm appeared on the ground. The impact of what they had witnessed was too shocking, and it caused the elders of the Jade Pure Dao sect to be stunned for a long time. Sherpatian has been eliminated. Who can actually have such a divine power? Everyone was shocked. An elder surnamed who flashed across and grabbed a lesser demon from the mountain below to question it. The lesser demon was so frightened that it trembled and spoke incoherently. However, elder who more or less understood what was going on. Indeed, an expert had helped them eliminate Sherpatian. Looking at the battlefield in front of him, he was truly shocked. Let's hurry back and report to the sect master. Elder who said as everyone left. However, not long after everyone from the Jade Pure Dao sect left, red light seemed to flicker in the gigantic crack. Following that, torrential demonic chi suffused the air. It surged like a black fog in the crack, blotting out the sun. It was as if the mountain forest had turned into the nine nether demon domain. Demonic roars and howling ghosts echoed through the mountains, causing one to shudder uncontrollably. Luo Water Town, which was about 500 kilometers away from Stone Devil Mountain, was a small town under the jurisdiction of the Great Xia Dynasty in Qin Prefecture. Li Yu's sect was located west of Luo Water Town, on the nine dot tailed mountain around five kilometers away. A slightly dilapidated Daoist temple with dark green tiles and red walls sat quietly on the mountaintop. The Daoist temple's wall was slightly mottled as if it had been neglected for years. Boston ivy was crawling all over the walls. There were a few words inscribed in a lively style on the signboard at the door that was almost indiscernible, that's quite a large sect. Each time he saw those words, Li Yu suspected that his father's surname was Shen. That's right. It was the sect founded by Li Yu's cheap father. A sect that was renowned throughout the area. Under his relentless efforts, the sect successfully developed from the initial ten that odd people to the current three. Li Yu felt immense pressure to turn such a sect into the number one sect in the great Xia dynasty. 
Gulp. As soon as he entered the Daoist temple, Li Yu's stomach suddenly growled. Sigh, I forgot to hunt on the way back. Li Yu thought. Just as Li Yu was thinking about what to eat for dinner, something peculiar occurred in the sky above Nanan City, over 5,000 kilometers away. All of a sudden, rays of golden light shone down, and seven dot colored auspicious clouds surfaced in the sky. Amidst the heavens and the earth, deep voices sounded out. They resembled the whispers of the gods or the echo of nature. What was going on? Everyone in Nanan City looked at the wonder in the sky, shocked. They had never seen such a miraculous scene in their lives. Some people thought that auspiciousness had descended from the heavens, and they knelt to pray for blessings. Then, a golden scroll that seemed to fall from the nine heavens rolled out. An awe-inspiring voice of the great Tao reverberated through the sky. On the heaven Tao and earth roll, there are endless opportunities for anyone who enters the list. With the sound of the great Tao, a ranking appeared on the golden scroll in the sky. The Hidden Dragon List Chapter 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio A Rebirth Speculation Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios After the Hidden Dragon rankings appeared, a few rows of clear, shiny golden characters appeared below. This ranking is the Great Xia Dynasty's Hidden Dragon rankings. Young elites below the age of 30 can enter the ranking. A total of 100 people will be ranked in ascending order, and they can obtain the Heavenly Tao's reward. The rankings will be refreshed in real dot time, and a reward will be given every month. The entire Nanan city and the cities and towns within a few thousand kilometers could see it clearly, and everyone was extremely shocked. Such a miraculous sight was a once.in.a.lifetime event even for an old fellow who had lived for hundreds or thousands of years. Not only that, but the heavenly Tao rankings of the various countries' capitals, cities, and sects also appeared in the sky. The world was stunned. However, besides being shocked, everyone was discussing and anticipating just who would be able to ascend the heavenly Tao rankings. And who would occupy that dazzling top spot. Hidden Dragon Rankings Number 100 Zhu Hong Origin Zhu Family of Liang Prefecture Age 23 years old reward. Xianyuan Pill once the first name appeared, a golden light flew out of the ranking list and headed southwest. The direction was the Liang Prefecture. It seemed like the golden light was the reward of the heavenly Tao. The hundredth place actually rewarded the Xianyuan Pill. Many seemed surprised and full of envy. Although this Xianyuan Pill was not exactly a rare treasure, it was still a valuable pill. This pill could supplement cultivation and improve one's physique. It was highly beneficial. More importantly, as long as he stayed up on the rankings, he would be rewarded with this pill every month. It was simply awesome. If only I could get on the Heavenly Tao rankings too. Let's not dream as ordinary folks. Whoever is up there on the rankings are definitely members of large family clans and large sections. Yeah, if the 100th place is from the Zhu family. Ordinary disciples can forget about it. Sigh, if such an expert becomes stronger, then the weak will be even weaker. Everyone talked animatedly. Hidden Dragon Rankings Number 99 Zhang Dainyu Origin Heavenly Water Pavilion Reward Xianyuan Pill Number 98 on the Hidden Dragon Ranking Wu Yuan Origin Million Sins Clan Reward Xianyuan Pill As the rankings began to get announced, strands of golden light flew out from the ranking list and into various directions. The Grand Xia Dynasty, Liang Prefecture, Zhu Manor As a former lord and the family behind the current prime minister, the Zhu family was powerful. They had many descendants and mercenaries, and their overall strength was not inferior to some large sections. The heavenly Tao rankings has finally appeared. A man in luxurious clothes stood on the pavilion with his assistant standing beside him as he looked up at the golden rankings in the sky. He had sword-dot-like eyebrows and starry eyes, giving off an imposing aura. 
On his dashing face, there was a pair of deep eyes that seemed to have experienced the vicissitudes of life. It remained sharp and deep, even though it had just witnessed something extraordinary. His eyes were still calm as water in an ancient well, as only a smile surfaced on his lips. He was the top prodigy of the Zhu family's current generation. His talent and strength were unmatched in the entire great Xia dynasty. Even the top elites of the Jade Pure Dao sect could not compare to him. Not only that, he was a reborn person. Of course, no one else but him knew about this. In his previous life, he had been the number one existence on the Heavenly Dao Rankings Hidden Dragon Rankings. He knew the Heavenly Dao Rankings better than anyone else. The Hidden Dragon Rankings was only the beginning. Three months later, the Heaven Dao Earth Rankings would also announce the Great Xia Dynasty's Divine Weapon Rankings. It was a much more important ranking with more generous rewards. Furthermore, the Heavenly Dao Earth Rankings was only ranked according to country. It meant that only the young elites of the Great Xia Dynasty were on the list. The Heaven Rankings would appear in the future. That was the actual valuable ranking list. By then, it would encompass a wider area that would include the various humans, monsters, and demon races. The rewards would be even more extraordinary. In his previous life, countless people had relied on the opportunities from the Heaven Rankings to become peerless experts. Those who could reach the top 10 of the Heaven Rankings have a chance to enter the Immortal Rankings in the future and enter the Immortal Class. In this life, I, Zhu Xiaotian, will surely ascend into the Immortal Rankings. Zhu Xiaotian thought to himself. After rebirth, he knew everything about the future and was confident that he could devise a strategy to seize the fortune of heaven and earth. He planned to utilize the Heavenly Tao Rankings to advance rapidly and ascend into the Immortal Realm. Below the pavilions, everyone from the Zhu family was excitedly discussing this matter. In their hearts, Zhu Xiaotian must be the only candidate at the top of the Hidden Dragon rankings. Brother Xiaotian, so you're here. A beautiful girl with snow-white skin and charming eyes ran over. Her name was Yi Kaidai, the beloved daughter of the Pingnan king of the Great Xia dynasty. Brother Xiaotian, the first place on this Hidden Dragon rankings surely belongs to you. The girl walked to Zhu Xiaotian's side and looked at the ranking. She was not flattering him, as Zhu Xiaotian was the publicly acknowledged number one prodigy of the great Xia dynasty. His natural talent was unmatched. Zhu Xiaotian smiled slightly and did not speak, but his face was filled with determination. In his previous life, he was the first on the list. Now that he was reborn, his cultivation was higher and better than in his previous life. Therefore, no one could compete with the first on the Hidden Dragon rankings in this life. With Sister Kai Dai's abilities, you'll surely have a place in the top ten. Zhu Xiaotian said. According to his previous life's memories, his childhood friend Kai Dai ranked tenth. I hope so. Brother Xiaotian, look at how many fiend sect disciples are on this ranking. Yi Kai Dai said with a grave expression. Half of the rankings had already been announced. And there were already more than 20 fiend sect disciples among the 50 people. Sai, the righteous path is declining, while the demonic path is rampant. Chaos is inevitable. Zhu Xiaotian said solemnly. He knew clearly that the great Xia dynasty was not alone. The entire Huaxia continent was the same. In the next few hundred years, it was highly likely that the era would be filled with demons. The appearance of the Heavenly Tao rankings intensified this situation. As the saying went, nature was heartless and treated everything as straw dogs. The Heavenly Tao rankings were not just limited to a particular race species. In the struggle for the Grand Tao, a myriad of races competed for the chance to become immortals and seek the Tao. Still, Heroes emerge from chaos. Zhu Xiaotian wanted to capitalize on the winds of change to transform into a true dragon and ascend to the nine heavens. The Grand Xia Dynasty's Yu Prefecture, Jade Pure Dao Sect. The sect master of the Jade Pure Dao Sect, Perfected Yu Hua, stood at the entrance of the Jade Pure Palace Hall. 
he looked at the heavenly Tao rankings in the sky with a heavy expression. Indeed, the appearance of the heavenly Tao rankings filled him with pleasant surprise and anticipation. Many disciples of their sect had also entered the hidden dragon rankings and received the rewards of the heavenly Tao. However, looking at the full rankings was like looking at the world's future. He could not help but worry. The demon sects already occupied half of the eighty announced places. This was especially true for the netherworld demon sect, as the number of disciples ranked had already surpassed their Taoist sect. Demons were rampant in the current great Xia dynasty, and the greater demons from all over were wreaking havoc. There were countless deaths and injuries among those in the righteous path, and it was difficult to eradicate them. Everyone was afraid. The decline of the righteous path and the expansion of the demonic path were undeniable. In recent years, the strength of the netherworld demon sect had already surpassed them. Now, their younger generation was filled with crouching tigers and hidden dragons. And the mere thought of such potential was terrifying enough. What was even more troubling was that the heavenly Tao rankings would reveal this cruel fact to the public. It was truly a public execution, leaving the righteous sects ashamed. At this rate, it would inevitably cause panic in the world. It could even threaten the righteous sect status in the people's hearts. At the thought of this, perfected Yuhua truly felt depressed. Right at this moment, a group of figures flew over from afar. Perfected Yuhua focused his gaze. It was the returning elder Hu and others. They had set out to eliminate Sherpatian even if it meant losing their lives. So soon. Perfected Yuhua was slightly surprised. However, when they saw that everyone had returned without any injuries, they could not help but be shocked. Elder Hu, why are you back so soon? Reporting to Sect Master, when we arrived, the Stone Devil Mountain had already disappeared. Sherpatian was already killed by someone else. From the traces of the battle, it was likely done by a certain expert. Said Elder Hu as he cupped his hands. Really? Perfected Yuhua revealed a look of joy. This huge boulder that was weighing on his heart had finally disappeared. If they still could not get rid of Sherpatian, their Jade Pure Dao sect would probably be too ashamed to face the commoners. They were going to be mocked and ridiculed by the fiend sects again. Chapter 3 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Who is Li Yu? Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios Hidden Dragon Ranking Number 11. E. Kaidai Origin. Daughter of the Pingnan King Age. 16 Reward. Foundation Building Pill, 11th, Zhu Xiaotian frowned in surprise. How could it be 11? He clearly remembered that E. Kaidai was 10th in his previous life. And her reward should be the Spirit Ascension Pill, a precious pill that could improve the quality of one's spirit root. What a pity that I'm out of the top 10. Ikaidai stuck out her tongue, but she didn't pay too much attention to it. After all, this was not too far off from her expectations. At this moment, a golden light flew over from the sky and turned into a jade bottle that flew towards Ikaidai. She grabbed it through the air and kept it in her storage magic treasure. Hidden Dragon Rankings Number 10 Leng Yu Origin Netherworld Demon Sect Age. 19 Reward. Spirit Ascension Pill As he looked at the new name on the list, Zhu Xiaotian's expression became more solemn. He felt that the overall placing of this ranking seemed to have moved backward by one spot. What was going on? The top 10 on the Hidden Dragon rankings was the most striking existence. At this moment, everyone's eyes were fixated on the names that kept appearing on the rankings. Everyone wanted to see which young elites could reach the top ten. A group of people gathered at the entrance of Qingyuan Restaurant in Nanan City. As they looked at the names that were getting announced one after another, their expressions slowly turned grim. Why are the tenth, ninth, and eighth place all members of the Netherworld Demon Sect? They said that it's the rise of the Fiend Sects, and they have already surpassed the Orthodox sections. Seems like it's true. Three people in a row are from the demon sect. 
this isn't good news. So far, no one from the Jade Pure Dao sect has entered the top 10. I heard that Lin Chen of the Jade Pure Dao sect is a prodigy of the current era who is extremely strong. Yes, I've heard of it too. This kid should have the chance for the top spot. No, no, no. The top spot should be Zhu Xiaotian from the Zhu family. This child is the number one prodigy of our great Xia dynasty, and he's definitely going to be the number one. That's right. I heard that he entered the foundation establishment realm before he was 12. He's already at the peak of the foundation establishment realm and is about to enter the golden core realm. Such talent and cultivation are probably unmatched in the world. This child is actually at the peak of the foundation establishment realm. Then he must be number one. MMM, this first place must not be occupied by someone from the demonic sect anymore. That would be too embarrassing. Everyone discussed animatedly, and they looked at the newly announced names with nervous and expectant gazes. Number 7. Murong Xingqiao Origin. The royal family of the Great Xia Dynasty Age. 17 Reward. Spirit Ascension Pill, congratulations, your highness. In the Eastern Palace, an old man cupped his hands with all smiles. This person was called Xin Chiuming, the current royal tutor and the prince's teacher. In front of him was the crown prince of the great Xia dynasty, Murong Xingqiao. He had a handsome face and limpid eyes. He was excessively dashing, to the point that even women would become jealous of him. I'm only in seventh place. What's there to be happy about? Sigh, I'm still too weak. In the future, I will use all my time to cultivate. The next time the rankings refresh, I, Murong Xingqiao, will be in the top five. Murong Xingqiao had an unsatisfied expression. Your Highness is only 17 years old. To have such a cultivation level is already one in a million. Shen Qiuming said amiably. Old Shen, don't make fun of me. Murong Xingqiao supported his chin with his right hand and looked at the heavenly Tao rankings in the sky with a bitter expression. I wouldn't dare. Grand Tutor Shen Qiuming bowed. Old Shen, you said that the first place should be the Prime Minister's son, right? Yes, if I'm not wrong, it ought to be him. This kid is a peerless genius that possesses great talent. He's indeed the best in the younger generation of the empire. Murong Xingqiao nodded, but his brows furrowed even more tightly. He was well aware that the Zhu family's power had already surpassed the Murong family. Prime Minister Zhu Hongyuan was ambitious. Despite the Zhu family being on his side, he was well aware that the Zhu family was definitely not his friend. The Hidden Dragon rankings continued to announce the rankings. The sixth place was again a member of the Netherworld Demon Sect, number 5. Lin Chen Origin. Jade Pure Dao Sect Age. 23 Reward. Golden Body Spiritual Liquid number 4. Yi Chiu Origin. Nanan City's Yi Family Age. 18 Reward. Golden Body Spiritual Liquid number 3. Gu Tsongming Origin. Netherworld Demon Sect Age. 23 Reward. Divine Flame Pill No. 2. Zhu Xiaotian Origin. Zhu Family of Liang Prefecture Age. 23 Reward. Divine Flame Pill, 2nd Place. Impossible. Zhu Xiaotian's eyes widened as he looked at every word on the ranking list in disbelief. Impossible. What's going on? How did I become second? I should be number one. Although he had an ominous feeling when the top ten was announced, he was unwilling to believe that his ranking would fall by one position as well. He could not understand how this could have happened. After his rebirth, everything that he had experienced was no different from the trajectory of his previous life. But why was there such a significant change in the Heavenly Tao rankings? It suddenly frightened him. It was as if everything he knew got overturned suddenly, and everything he saw had suddenly become bubbles. He thought he would control everything in his new life and predict the future. However, 
he never expected that something beyond his control would suddenly appear here at this point. Who is it? Who stole my first place? Zhu Xiaotian's pupils trembled as he stared at the rankings in the air. Yi Kai Dai was also shocked, and her eyes were filled with surprise. The Zhu family people below were in an uproar. Zhu Xiaotian was not at the top. Then who would be the number one? Everyone outside the Qingyuan restaurant was in an uproar as well. What's going on? Even Zhu Xiaotian from the Zhu family isn't the first. No way, if he's not even at the top, then who could be at the top? The epitome of the Xia dynasty's younger generation are all on the list already. Who else can it be? Perhaps there's a hidden genius. To be able to surpass the Zhu family's Zhu Xiaotian, just how monstrous is this child's talent? It can't be someone from the fiend's sex again, right? That will be bad. Half of the top ten have been occupied by fiend sections. If the first place is also obtained by the fiend's sex, then, those people were not the only ones shocked and worried. Even Murong Xingxiao, Yi Qiu, Lin Chen, and perfected Yu Hua had the same doubts and worries in their hearts. Please don't be a member of the Netherworld Demon Sect. Perfected Yu Hua muttered in his heart. If the top spot was seized by someone from the demonic path, it would be a huge blow to the entire orthodox sects of the Great Xia Dynasty. Where would their reputation go? In the sky, the golden light on the golden scroll suddenly flourished. As light patterns flowed, a few golden words surfaced slowly. Those words were twice the size of the rest. Everyone held their breaths and focused their attention on the golden words. Hidden Dragon Rankings Number 1 Li Yu Origin That's quite a large sect age. 17 Reward Heavenly Spirit Pill. Additional Reward Chong Ming Bird. Fledgling, who is Li Yu? At the same time, this question arose in the hearts of everyone that were paying attention to the Heavenly Dao rankings, and they were even more puzzled by Li Yu's origins. That's quite a large sect. Which sect is that? Chapter 4 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. I will find you, no matter where you are, translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios, Li Yu, who is this person? Why have I never heard of him in my previous life? Zhu Xiaotian frowned as killing intent flashed through his eyes. Yi Kai Dai was also slightly surprised, and she couldn't help but sneak a glance at Zhu Xiaotian's rather sullen expression. He even got an additional reward. Zhu Xiaotian was even more shocked. Not to mention that Number One had been seized by a fellow called Li Yu. He was also the first in his previous life, but he had only obtained the Heavenly Spirit Pill. There was no additional reward. What ability did this person have to obtain the favor of the Heavenly Tao and even obtain additional rewards? Moreover, the additional reward was too great. Chongming Bird was a divine bird. It was said that this bird was shaped like a chicken and sang like a phoenix. It had two eyes and was born with the ability to dispel evil. It was the natural enemy of demons and ghosts. It could reach adulthood in sixty years. Once it did, it would possess the strength of the profound void martial stage at the very least. Obtaining this divine bird was equivalent to acquiring a powerful aid in combat strength with limitless potential. Such a reward was a desirable and crazy opportunity for the entire Huaxia continent. If his family obtained this divine bird, they could possess an expert at the profound void martial stage in the future. The Zhu family would dominate over the entire Huaxia continent. Dot the heavenly spirit pill was another incomparable treasure. A single heavenly spirit pill could shape a heavenly spiritual root. In the past, he had relied on this pill to cleanse his marrow, reconstruct his foundation, and establish an even more monstrous cultivation talent. However, in this life, not only did he lose the top spot, he did not even obtain this heavenly spirit pill. Zhu Xiaotian felt as if he had suffered double the damage. At this moment, he only had a single thought in his mind, he must eliminate Li Yu. This guy was an uncertain factor for him, 
a hidden threat to his future plans. He had to get rid of him. He had to make everything return to the path he was familiar with. In the Eastern Palace, Morong Xingxiao and Shen Qiuming looked at the name of the rankings with faces filled with bewilderment. Who is Li Yu? And that, large sect. Why have I never heard of it before? Morong Xingxiao had a puzzled expression. From the name, you can tell that it's very likely a small sect that's not up to standard. It's normal that you haven't heard of it, your highness. Shen Chuming said. Elder Shen, quickly send someone to find this person. I want to take this person under my wing and ensure his safety, said Murong Xingqiao. He was very clearly aware that such a hidden genius was like an unpolished jade that had not been developed. Many factions would likely scramble to recruit such talent. After all, obtaining this person would not only give them a young elite with limitless potential, they could even improve their own reputation with him. After all, being the first on the Heavenly Tao ranking was simply too dazzling. Likely, after today, there would be no one in the world who did not know Li Yu. The next time the rankings refreshed, the information about Li Yu's background was the key to the rise of the reputation of countless factions. Not only that, if they accepted this child, they could even obtain more rewards from the Heavenly Tao through him in the future. They would have endless opportunities to grow. Of course, there would definitely be many jealous people who might even have ill intentions. After all, if he was eliminated, the ranking of others would increase, especially for the second place. Moreover, the Heavenly Spirit Pill and the Chongming Bird were peerless treasures that were enough to drive everyone in the world crazy. A man's wealth is his ruin by itself. If such a reward went to the imperial family or large factions like the Jade Pure Dao sect and the Zhu family, no one would dare to think of obtaining it. However, it had fallen into the hands of such a small and unknown sect, it would likely invite a fatal disaster. Perhaps the first to take action would be the demonic sections. So, Murong Xingqiao had to protect that person and take him under his wing as his retainer. Perfected Yuhua had the same idea as Murong Xingqiao. Once he saw the rewards of the Heavenly Tao transform into two golden lights and flew towards the northwest, perfected Yuhua hurriedly turned to Elder Hu. Elder Hu, quickly send someone to find Li Yu. We must recruit him into our Jade Pure Tao sect. Also, this child will certainly be in danger. The fiend sects will take action too. We must find him before they do. Perfected Yuhua also knew that the Heavenly Tao rewards were too tempting, and plenty of people must have ill intentions. That was a Chongming bird, and even he, Perfected Yuhua, was tempted greatly. If possible, he was even willing to use his intrinsic magic treasure to trade with Li Yu and obtain the baby bird. At this moment, the various powers were definitely searching for Li Yu. It was a race against time. Whoever could find this child first would be able to seize the initiative. Almost at the same time, the various powers of the Grand Xia dynasty started to make a move. Everyone was looking for that's quite a large sect and Li Yu for different reasons. Nanan City's Yi family, the general's estate. The Yi family was a family of generals in the Great Xia dynasty. Their family had been generals for generations, and they had produced countless heroes. The Yi family was loyal to the country. The disciples of the Yi family guarded the borders and fought bravely to protect the country. Therefore, whenever the citizens of Nanan City passed by the Yi residents, they would look at them with respect and admiration. That's quite a large sect. How come I feel like I've heard of it somewhere before? Yi Chiu frowned and rubbed his chin, deep in thought. He was the youngest son of the general of the Great Xia dynasty. Yi Guxiong. He was also the cream of the crop among the younger generation of the Yi family. The members of the Yi family cultivated martial arts body tempering techniques. The difference from the Qi refinement cultivation system was that martial practitioners focused on cultivating the physical body, using strength to break through spells and attain immortality. The cultivation realms were divided into Qi refinement, foundation establishment, golden core, nascent soul, Soul Formation, Profound Void, Tribulation, Mahayana. 
On the other hand, the martial body refinement realm was divided into the meridian opening, body tempering, oriat body, transcendence, soul conduit, rebirth, life and death, deity. Also, every cultivation realm was divided into the early, middle, and late stages. Yi Chiu was now at the late stage of the body tempering realm, and he cultivated the Yi family's profound young tyrant body art. His physical body was powerful, and he had limitless strength. He could fight even peak foundation establishment cultivators. He was born gallant and fond of fighting. Other than those from the demonic sects, he had challenged almost every top talent of the great Xia dynasty's younger generation. Therefore, when he saw that the first on the ranking was a fellow he had never heard of before, his first thought was to spar with this fellow to see how powerful he was. He had experienced Zhu Xiaotian's abilities firsthand before. He was indeed powerful but not invincible. That sparring session with Zhu Xiaotian had allowed him to improve greatly. If Zhu Xiaotian had not declined to fight him after that encounter, he would have definitely sparred with him a few more times until he defeated him. The Heaven Dao rankings had allowed him to see a new goal. He would surely find out more about the person ranked first on the Hidden Dragon rankings as it could bring him new inspiration and growth. I remember now. I think it's near Luaha town. Yi Chiu clapped his hands excitedly. He recalled carefully just now and remembered that he had heard of such a strange sect name when he went out to travel last year. Uncle Fu, bring my mount over. Yi Chiu grabbed his azure dragon spear, his face filled with battle intent. While countless people were searching for Li Yu, the man himself was in the Daoist temple. He was completely unaware that his identity had been exposed by the heavenly Tao rankings. Moreover, at the remote area of the Nine Dot Tailed Mountain, he could not have seen the Heaven Dao rankings. Just as Li Yu entered the kitchen, two golden lights flew over from the sky, coincidentally blocked by the door he casually closed moments ago. Bang! The door was smashed open, giving Li Yu a fright. When he focused his gaze, he saw a big, feathery pheasant that was getting up from the ground in a daze. Heh, yeah, my goodness! This is really a chicken flying into a walk. Li Yu was pleasantly surprised. He was only just worried about not having anything to eat at night when this pheasant came knocking on his door. Li Yu would never have thought that the big chicken dot like bird in front of him was the baby bird of the Chongming bird. Also, he did not notice the small porcelain bottle that flew in with it. At the moment, he only had eyes for the big, fat chicken. Looking at it was like looking at a pot of fragrant chicken mushroom stew. Hmm, I remember there are plenty of delicious mushrooms in the kitchen. Chapter 5 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Reverse Robbery Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios After the sunset, a pot of fragrant chicken mushroom stew was ready. Li Yu could not wait and took a bite of the chicken. He instantly felt his soul sublimate. Awesome. Awesome. This chicken was not ordinary. The texture of the meat was unmatched, and its taste was heavenly. It was a pity that his cheap father and junior brother did not have the good fortune to enjoy it. His junior brother, Tang Chi, had left the mountain a few days ago to visit his family. Li Yu felt that this fellow was probably thinking of escaping. Meanwhile, his father went out to earn money. According to his plan, he would complete the repair and expansion of the Daoist temple this year while recruiting 100 disciples. They needed money, and more importantly, disciples. However, his father planned but would never see it through year after year. Li Yu was used to it. If not for the fact that the system had suddenly issued a mission a few days ago, he could not be bothered to expand his sect and recruit any new disciples. He would rather stay away from prying eyes and unnecessary troubles. The peace the three of them had is enough. A large pot of fragrant chicken mushroom stew was quickly finished by Li Yu. If there was anything special about this body, it was that he could really eat, the type who could not live without meat. Of course, food was the source of his strength. Li Yu, who had relied on the system to kill monsters and level up, was not part of the Qi refinement system, 
nor was he part of the body refinement system. Anyway, it was a particularly unique existence. He did not have any magic power or internal energy in his body, but he had a strange energy. He could not unleash the spells and divine arts of various cultivators, but the power of a single sword could destroy the world. Therefore, he could not be bothered with what system he belonged to. All that mattered was that he was powerful. Li Yu was satisfied as he sat under the scholar tree in the courtyard. He picked his teeth while opening the system interface. The first thing that appeared was his personal information interface. Name Li Yu, automatically generated, age 17 years old, automatically generated, gender Male, automatically generated, owner's sect That's quite a large sect, automatically generated, constitution Human body, filled in manually, bloodline Type A, filled in manually, weapon An ordinary dot-looking sword, filled in manually, magical power Basic attack sword art, filled in manually, special skill. Serious slash, filled in manually, mount. Bus 11, filled in manually, there was a lot of information on the mission interface. Essentially, it was a minor mission to develop a sect into the number one sect in the Great Xia Dynasty. For example, to recruit a thousand disciples in a year, at least ten of them must have excellent talent. There was a disciple management module in the system that could administer disciples. It had comprehensive functions. The system would also automatically evaluate the talent of the disciples, which was somewhat user-friendly. In addition to that, there are other requirements to meet. Collecting cultivation techniques and building a skill pavilion, collecting divine weapons and building the divine weapon pavilion collecting medicinal pills, pill formulas, pill furnaces and building the alchemy pavilion, collecting refining techniques, refining furnaces, and others and create an artifact refining pavilion, collecting spirit herbs and building a spirit herb garden. There were also a series of missions to improve the sect's prestige. After all, to establish a truly major sect, one needed to have all kinds of ultimate techniques and cornerstones. Dot although the sect was small, those were everything it needed to support its development. Then, he would subdue demons, restore justice, improve the sect's social status and influence, etc. In addition, the mission interface had strategies and guidelines for completing the mission. For example, when he did not know where to find divine weapons, the system notified him that he could obtain the scarlet copper hammer by killing Sherpatian. That was how he followed the directions and found Sher Potion's location with ease and obtained the supreme dot grade numinous treasure. It also increased the sex prestige points. Currently, the mission progress of collecting divine weapons has become 1 slash 20. Prestige became 3 slash 100. Hold up. 1 slash 50 completed for pills. What was going on? Li Yu was a little surprised as he clicked on the details. Obtained Heavenly Spirit Pill, Li Yu followed the system's directions and found the small porcelain bottle lying by the stove. Heavenly Spirit Pill. Where did this come from? Li Yu was puzzled, but he did not think much about it. He simply deduced that he had picked up a treasure. At this moment, the system asked, Will you analyze the formula for the Heavenly Spirit Pill? There is even such a function. Li Yu was pleasantly surprised. As long as he could collect the pills, he could then analyze and derive the pill formulas. That would be a pretty powerful ability. Collecting pill formulas would become simple. Li Yu did not hesitate to click to confirm. The system quickly analyzed the pill formula. The progress of collecting the pill formulas also indicated 1/50. Not bad, not bad. Li Yu was overjoyed. Once dad returns, I'll change the name of the sect too. Li Yu thought. If he wanted to develop his sect, he would first have to give a proper name. Otherwise, this name was filled with Shen's humor that did not suit the mainstream aesthetics of this world. Who would be willing to join a sect with an unreliable name? Deep into the night. Within Black Bear Mountain. 25 kilometers away from 9. 
Tailed Mountain. This was the lair of the infamous bandits in Qing Prefecture, the Juyi Hall. These mountain bandits branded themselves as heroes of the Greenwood, but they were just outlaws who assaulted and pillaged. Lua Water Town and the nearby townspeople were gnashing their teeth in hatred. However, it was useless as these bandits remained powerful. The Qing Prefecture had attempted to eradicate them for many years, but they had never been able to eliminate them. Of course, the incompetence of the local authorities played a big part. Today, the second dot in dot command of the Ji Hall, Zhou Erlang, was headed to the Liang Prefecture to handle some matters. He happened to witness the Heavenly Dao rankings. Although not many people knew about that's quite a large sect, as a faction around Lua Water Town, Ji Hall was naturally aware of it. Therefore, Zhou Erlang immediately rushed back to the base through the night at the fastest speed to report the good news to his eldest brother, Zhou Dalong. After hearing the news, Zhou Dalong pushed the girl he had kidnapped away and jumped out of bed excitedly. This sort of precious treasure had actually fallen into the hands of that small sect on the Nine Dot Tailed Mountain. It was simply like a lump of fat meat delivered to their doorstep, which they were about to strike the jackpot this time. Not mentioning the value of the Chongming bird, just the priceless heavenly spirit pill would make anyone tempted. Loot it. You must get it back for me. It's better if you could kidnap that Li Yu too. This kid is a money tree. Zhou Dalong's eyes sparkled. A heaven spirit pill rewarded once a month was simply too fantastic. Big brother, leave it to me. I heard that the sect only has three or four disciples. It'll be enough if I bring ten brothers. Zhou Erlang patted his chest and said. Don't underestimate the enemy. Although this sect is small, to nurture the number one elite on the hidden dragon rankings means they probably have some ability. It's best to bring more people. All right, then I'll bring thirty brothers. That should be enough. Okay. Then I'll wait for your good news here. Zhou Daolong laughed. Zhou Erlang quickly gathered the thirty strongest bandits in the base and rushed to the Nine Dot Tailed Mountain with the cover of the night. When they arrived at the Nine Dot Tailed Mountain, it was already the latter half of the night. Li Yu was sleeping in his room when a loud bang sounded. It was as if the door of the temple had been forced open. Following that, a series of noises sounded as the flickering flames illuminated the outside. Li Yu was startled as he put on his robe and rushed out. Dozens of burly men had rushed into the temple with torches in their hands. Who are you all? Li Yu shouted and blocked the crowd. Hey, kid. Where is Li Yu? Zhou Erlang walked out of the crowd and asked coldly. That's me. Li Yu frowned. He looked at the group of people in front of him who seemed like a group of bandits. He could not help but sigh at the degeneration of the world. Were the mountain bandits already so impoverished to rob a small and poor sect? Ha <laughs> ha, good. Hand over the heavenly spirit pill and the Chongming bird obediently so that you won't suffer any physical pain. Zhou Erlang ordered. The surrounding bandits grinned maliciously, staring at Li Yu like hungry wolves. They kept swinging the weapons in their hands as if they were going to pounce at any moment. Li Yu was puzzled. How did these mountain bandits know that I had a heaven spirit pill? Where did it come from? And what was with that so dot called Chongming bird? Could the chicken I cooked at night be? Li Yu was filled with questions, and he sensed that something was off. It was clear this group of people in front of him should know something that he did not. And they were clearly here to rob him. Chapter 6 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Changes in Rankings The Destruction of the Heavenly Water Pavilion Translator. Atlas Studios Editor. Atlas Studios At this moment, the system interface popped up. A new system mission appeared. Exterminate the bandits of the GE Hall of Black Bear Mountain to obtain one prestige point, MM, a reward. Not bad. A point is a point. Li Yu was not picky. Moreover, even without the system mission reward, he had intended to deal with the mountain bandits. 
If it were in the past, he would not have bothered about these pests. But now that they had come knocking on his door, he did not mind robbing them. It just so happened that his sect lacked people and was short of money. Kid, hand it over quickly. Don't refuse a toast only to be puny, before Zhou Erlang could finish his sentence, his face was twisted by a strong force as he flew into the air. Bang! 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 Katcha! In the blink of an eye, more than thirty robbers were either embedded in the wall, hanging from trees, sinking into the ground, or smashing through the wall into the house. It worsened the already dilapidated Daoist temple situation. It was filled with desolation and wailing. You can't even take a single blow. Boring. Li Yu clapped his hands, walked up to Zhou Erlang, and squatted down. At this moment, Erlang Zhou was so frightened that his soul almost left his body. He hurriedly begged for mercy, please spare my life, please spare my life. He had never imagined that Li Yu's strength was so terrifying. He originally thought that even if Li Yu was ranked at the first position on the Hidden Dragon rankings, he was only a 17.year.old brat. How strong could he be? In addition, the Heavenly Spirit Pill and the Chongming Bird were too tempting, so he did not think much about it. Furthermore, he was at the peak of the body tempering realm, after all. Coupled with his brothers, they should at least not be instantly killed if they were to fight a Golden Core Realm cultivator. The boy's strength was too terrifying. Cut the crap. Tell me, how did you know that I have a Heaven Spirit Pill? And what did you say about the Chongming Bird? Li Yu asked in a stern voice. Zhou Erlang did not dare to be negligent and hurriedly told him in detail about the Heavenly Dao ranking. After hearing Zhou Erlang's words, the corners of Li Yu's mouth twitched. That, that chicken was a divine bird. And I ate the divine bird rewarded from the Heavenly Dao. Wow, if this were to spread, I wonder how people would react. Well, it's a divine bird, after all. Its meat was really delicious. Li Yu couldn't help but reminisce, and his mouth was filled with delight. If only he could get another divine bird as a reward the next time. Looks like I can't lay low anymore. Li Yu felt rather helpless. He had been living a quiet life, and he did not expect to be exposed like this. Now everyone in the world knew that he was gifted and had even obtained the heavenly spirit pill and the Chongming bird. There were probably plenty of people who wanted to kill him for his treasures. Li Yu began to consider whether he should flee. However, it did not seem like he needed to escape with his current abilities on second thought. Furthermore, the Heavenly Dao rankings might be a chance for him to strengthen his sect and complete his mission sooner. In that case, it did not seem that bad. There will probably be many guests paying a visit to our temple in the next few days. Li Yu rubbed his chin in thought. Li Yu looked at the devastated temple. He raised Zhou Erlang and said unhappily, Look, look at what you have done. See what you did to my Daoist temple. The walls have collapsed, and the house looks nothing like before. And this ground. Look at this fine ground. And you guys filled it with a bunch of holes. Let me tell you that you have to compensate me and repair my Daoist temple. Besides, you have disturbed me in the middle of the night. You have to pay for this psychological damage, Zhou Erlang wailed in his heart. F asterisk CK. That was clearly your own doing. We're victims too. As for the mental damage compensation, we probably suffered more than you mentally. You're right, sir. I'll compensate you. Let me go back, and I'll get someone to send the money to you tomorrow. Zhou Erlang said. Dream on. You can forget about going back. Li Yu threw Erlang Zhou to the ground. He then picked up a bandit beside him. Your leg isn't broken, right? No, no, I only broke a few ribs. It's fine as long as your leg isn't broken. Go back and inform your boss to bring silver over to redeem him. As for each person, each will be 100 tails. In addition to the losses here and my mental damage compensation, I'll give you a discount, so pay me 5,000 tails. 
deliver it by tomorrow. Otherwise, I will send these guys to the authorities to collect your bounty. Li Yu said in all seriousness. Okay, okay, the bandit replied excitedly. Then, he rushed down the mountain faster than a rabbit. Zhou Erlang did not say a word, although he knew that their village could not take out so much silver. However, his eldest brother was a middle dot stage Oriot body realm expert, so he should have the chance to save them. As for you fellows, you can stay behind and repair the Daoist temple for me. But in order to prevent you from escaping, I think it's necessary to break your legs. Li Yu rubbed his fist as he spoke. No, no, no. We definitely won't escape. If our legs break, how can we fix your house? Zhou Erlang shouted in a panic. You can crawl. I'll leave my hand for you guys. It's team cooperation, understand? Aren't you mountain bandits the most particular about team cooperation? Use your imagination. You guys can do it. As Li Yu spoke, he stepped on Zhou Erlang's calf. No, no, ah, uh, crack. The sounds of bones breaking miserable cries reverberated through the entire nine. Tailed mountain, adding some noise to the quiet night. At the same time, there was a sudden movement on the hidden dragon rankings in the sky above Nanan City and the Jade Pure Dao sect. The Heavenly Water Pavilion disciples on the rankings began to disappear one by one, replaced by the names of the people behind them. At the same time, new names appeared on the rankings. In the end, there was no longer a single Heavenly Water Pavilion disciple on the rankings. This anomaly attracted the attention and surprise of many people. Especially perfected Yu Hua, who had always been concerned about the safety of everyone in the world. He felt that something huge might have happened to that sect, so he quickly called for the elders and disciples to follow him to the Heavenly Water Pavilion. However, when perfected Yu Hua and the others arrived at the Heavenly Water Pavilion, it had already turned into a living hell. Corpses were everywhere, and blood flowed like a river. The strongest sect in the Qing Prefecture, the Heavenly Water Pavilion, was destroyed. How could this be? Perfected Yuhua was shocked, and a bone dot chilling cold arose from the bottom of his feet. This Heavenly Water Pavilion could be considered one of the top sects in the Grand Xia Dynasty. Although they were not as strong as the Jade Pure Dao sect, they were not too far off. Still, such a powerful sect was destroyed by someone overnight. The shock was even more intense and impactful than when he saw the appearance of the Heavenly Dao rankings. The shocking scene made it impossible to calm himself down for a long time. Who did it? Could it be the Netherworld Demon Sect? Perhaps only the Netherworld Demon Sect had the possibility of destroying the Heavenly Water Pavilion in a single night. But why would the Netherworld Demon Sect do so? The righteous and the demonic path were like fire and water that could not coexist, and they often clashed due to differing interests and ideals. Still, it was not to the extent of destroying an entire sect. Looking at the miserable state of the Heavenly Water Pavilion, it could only be described as insane and tragic. Unless it was a blood feud, no one would do such a thing. Sect Master, there are survivors. A disciple below shouted. Everyone quickly flew over. In the sea of corpses below, they discovered a few heavenly water pavilion disciples who were still alive. After perfected Yuhua asked, he heard a terrifying name from the surviving disciple. Demon Child Chapter 7 You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Simply Devilish Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios it was said that in ancient times, a barbarian tribe used a forbidden method in a bid to summon a god to descend into the world, only to summon out a terrifying demon baby. After the demon baby was born, a disaster befell this world. The demonic baby was extremely terrifying. It was bloodthirsty, and it enjoyed destruction and slaughter. After he was born, he slaughtered barbarian tribes one after another, feeding on their flesh and blood to grow into a stronger demon child. Then, the calamity swept through the entire world. For a time, life was in misery, and countless sects were destroyed. 
Later on, it was said that over a hundred mighty cultivators had burnt their essence souls as the price in order to seal it. No one had expected that this terrifying demonic child would reappear in the world again. Now that demons were rife in the world, the reappearance of the demon child was adding fuel to the fire. The world was probably going to experience another destructive calamity. Looking at the fate of the heavenly water pavilion, perfected Yuhua seemed to see the fate of his sect, and chills went down his spine. Based on the words of the surviving disciple, perfected Yuhua understood that the sect master of the heavenly water pavilion, Shan Ruashue, had actually stimulated the tremendous power of the sky water sword with her blood essence and essence soul as a sacrifice. However, she still could not kill the demon child. Even the sky water sword was devoured by the demon child. Upon hearing this, perfected Yuhua sighed endlessly in his heart. Once Shan Ruashue did that, it was practically equivalent to her soul dissipating. Not even some men could be as bold as her. He thought about how this person was only thirty years old back then and was already the sect master of the Heavenly Water Pavilion. Not only was she extraordinarily talented, but she was also unmatched in terms of looks. Perfected Yuhua could not help but feel a sense of pity that she had died just like that, and her soul had even dissipated. The heavens were really jealous of heroic geniuses. The next day, the news of two consecutive events shook the entire Grand Xia dynasty. The first was that the greater demon that wreaked havoc in the Qin prefecture, Sherpatian, had been eliminated by a mysterious expert. When this news spread, it was truly satisfying. The entire country was excited as countless citizens rushed to spread the word and kowtow to thank the mysterious expert who had done a big favor. However, soon, the news of the heavenly water pavilion in the Qin prefecture being destroyed by the demon child was like a basin of cold water, instantly extinguishing everyone's joy. For a time, the world was shaken, and everyone was panicking. It was as if a new wave rose before the first wave subsided. Many male cultivators felt sorrow and pity for Shan Ruashue's death. They even felt that their youth was over. Shan Ruashue was definitely the number one beauty in the cultivation world of the Great Xia Dynasty. Over the years, countless people from the various large sects had a crush on her and pursued her madly. However, this frost beauty was dedicated to cultivation. Especially since she became the sect master, she strived to strengthen the sect. Dot in ten years, she had developed the Heavenly Water Pavilion into a first dot tier sect in the Great Xia Dynasty. However, who would have thought that such a heavenly, peerless beauty would die just like that? This made many people who had a crush on her feel extremely sad. Of course, apart from sorrow, everyone in the various large sects of the Great Xia Dynasty began to fear for their lives. They had heard of the infamous demon child. They were afraid that their sect would be next after the Heavenly Water Pavilion was destroyed. Of course, the person panicking the most was Zhu Xiaotian from the Zhu family. Because these two things had once again broken the development trajectory of his memories from his previous life. Everything was developing in an unpredictable direction. He clearly remembered from his previous life that Sherpatian only appeared after the divine weapon rankings were revealed. And obtaining the scarlet copper hammer helped him ascend to the ninth position, attracting the attention of various powers. Then, he was surrounded and beaten up by the various large factions. In the end, he was killed by the Jade Pure Dao sect, while the Scarlet Copper Hammer fell in the hands of the Jade Pure Dao sect. At that time, the Heavenly Water Pavilion was not destroyed, nor was there any demon child appearing. The Sky Water Sword of Shan Ruashue, the sect master of the Heavenly Water Pavilion, was ranked fifth. She also obtained rich rewards from the rankings, allowing her strength to improve significantly. However, from yesterday onwards, the development of the situation became incomprehensible to him. What is going on? Who had killed Sherpatian? Where did this demonic child come from? Could this be a chain reaction? Is it because I didn't become the first on the hidden dragon rankings that everything went wrong? Or is there something wrong with my memory? Zhu Xiaotian began to doubt himself. No, 
it must be because of that damned Li Yu. His appearance broke the balance. Zhu Xiaotian did not think that those two events had anything to do with Li Yu. However, he felt that it all began when Li Yu had snatched his top spot. If Li Yu was eliminated, perhaps everything would return to the path he was familiar with. Right at this moment, a figure suddenly appeared behind Zhu Xiaotian. However, his figure seemed to fuse with Zhu Xiaotian's shadow, preventing others from seeing his figure and appearance. This person was one of the top assassins of the Zhu family, Seven Steps. Within seven steps, his kill will be guaranteed. If this Heavenly Dao rankings had a killer ranking, Seven Steps could absolutely rank in the top three. Seven Steps, did you find that brat? Zhu Xiaotian's eyes brightened. Their Zhu family controlled the largest intelligence network and killer organization in the Great Xia Dynasty. It was not a problem to find and eliminate Li Yu. Young master, I found him. He's in a Daoist temple in the Nine Dot Tailed Mountain, Viper is waiting for young master's orders and is prepared to attack at any time. Seven Steps said in a low voice. The Viper he talked about was another top killer, a terrifying presence. The peak Ordit body realm expert was even stronger than Seven Steps. His physical body was comparable to a spirit artifact, and his strength and speed were far beyond peak golden core cultivators. With his extremely fast sword drawing technique, even a nascent soul stage cultivator might not survive an attack from Viper. Already, countless nascent soul cultivators had died in his hands. Okay, let him do it. Don't forget to bring it back, said Zhu Xiaotian. He was still confident with Viper's help. Yes. As Seven Steps spoke, his figure disappeared again. Nine Dot Tailed Mountain. Within the Daoist temple of that's quite a large sect. A group of bandits dragged their two broken legs. They were disabled but determined, and they supported each other while leaning on each other. They fully utilized their team's cooperative spirit and worked hard to repair the damaged buildings of the Daoist temple. The scene was actually a little touching. Li Yu sat at the side, drinking tea and supervising the work, seeming carefree. He naturally would not pity this group of mountain bandits who committed mass murders and all sorts of crime. Li Yu had heard of their infamy countless times. These guys had hands stained with blood. There were at least 800 innocent people and families harmed by them. Breaking their legs was already considered light punishment. Even if Li Yu had broken all their bones, it probably could not offset the sins they had committed. Hurry up. After the repairs, we'll be building two new houses in the south. These chores are all yours. When you are done, that's when you can rest. Li Yu said as he drank his tea. Zhou Erlang really wanted to cry. F asterisk CK, now he wants to build a house. He really did not treat them as humans. Zhou Erlang was filled with regret now. How could he have been so rash as to rob this kid? Not only did he not manage to snatch the item, he even threw himself into this mess. Moreover, Li Yu was simply a devil. Not only did he get them to repair their houses and work as laborers, he even broke their legs and meridians. Now, they have become crippled. Despite the hatred in his heart, he was powerless to resist. He could only listen to Li Yu and obediently serve as labor. Big brother, why aren't you here yet? I can't hold on much longer. Zhou Erlang looked into the distance with tears in his eyes. At this moment, a huge flying spirit beast flew over from the sky and soon arrived above the Daoist temple. Chapter 8 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Yi Chiu's Visit, a Fated Encounter Translator. Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios A person was standing on the back of the flying spirit beast. He was tall and straight, and he held a silver spear in his hand. He was assertive and handsome. His face seemed carved by a knife, and there was a hint of domineering aura between his brows. This person was none other than Yi Chiu. Yi Chiu's appearance instantly attracted the attention of everyone in the Daoist temple. Li Yu remained calm as he looked at Yi Chiu. 
Is Li Yu here? Yi Chiu looked down with a powerful voice. They are quick to find me. Li Yu sighed, then he stood up. What do you need? I'm Yi Clan of Nanan City, Yi Chiu. I'm ranked fourth on the Hidden Dragon rankings. I'm here to have a taste of your skill today. Yi Chiu's gaze was like lightning. His entire aura was like an unsheathed blade that was sharp and overflowing with battle intent. Li Yu had long guessed that there would be challengers unconvinced of his ranking, and he was not surprised in the slightest. It was easy to deal with such a person. He only needed to teach him a lesson. However, right at that moment, an interface popped up in front of Li Yu. It was a detailed introduction of Yi Chiu. His gender, height, weight, hobbies, and cultivation realm were shown. His weapon was the Azure Dragon Spear. His body tempering cultivation technique, profound young tyrant body art, cultivated to the sixth tier. His martial technique was the wandering dragon tyrant art at the fourth tier. What shocked Li Yu more was that. There was a row of large red words at the bottom of Yi Chiu's information panel. This person can activate the Qin Tsang Ancient Emperor's hidden treasure mission. Damn, there's even such a function. This is getting ridiculous. Li Yu increasingly felt that his system was not as simple as it seemed. Since the system told him that he could use this person to open some Qin Tsang Ancient Emperor's treasure mission, this meant that this person was valuable to him, and he was fated to meet him. In that case, he would be merciful later on and ensure he did not beat him to death. Li Yu looked at Yi Chiu and was about to use the Curtain Lotus Sex Ultimate technique on him. Come at dot me. Suddenly, a commotion sounded from the foot of the mountain. It was Zhou Daolong charging over with a group of bandits. They came in a menacing fashion as if they wanted to flatten the Daoist temple. Um, wait a moment. I have a small problem that I need to resolve first. Li Yu said to Yi Chiu. Do you need my help? Yi Chiu could also tell that the people rushing over from below were probably a group of vicious bandits. A sense of righteousness could not help but rise in his heart. It's fine. I can handle it by myself. Li Yu took another sip of tea and leisurely walked to the Daoist temple's door. At that moment, the shouts of Zhou Daolong and the bandits could be heard from outside the door. Li Yu, you better get out here now. Zhou Erlang knew that his older brother had brought help here and was immediately overjoyed. He thought that he was saved. Seeing that Li Yu had already walked out of the Taoist temple, he looked at everyone and secretly put down his work before crawling towards the door. When Li Yu walked out the door, the mountain bandits had already surrounded the Daoist temple so tightly that not a drop of water could trickle through. The leader, Zhou Daolong, had confirmed from the subordinate who had returned that the person in front of him was Li Yu. He shouted sternly, Punk, where is my brother? Hurry up and let them go. And I can spare your life. Did you bring the silver? Li Yu folded his arms and asked instead of answering. Humph, it has always been me who asks others for money. No one has ever dared to ask me for silver. Zhou Dalam roared. When he heard his subordinate return this morning to say that Li Yu wanted 5,000 tails, he was furious. If you opened your mouth to ask for 5,000 tails, why don't you just rob for it? Furthermore, in his opinion, even if this boy's strength was extraordinary, he was at most at the initial stage of the Golden Core realm. Zhou Dalong had the strength of a middle dot stage Oriot body realm martial artist. It must be more than enough to deal with that brat. Therefore, he brought more than a hundred people here to take revenge today and kidnap this money tree back at the same time. So you didn't bring it. In that case, you can die. Li Yu clenched his fists, stomped his feet, and instantly sped off. He was so quick that no one could catch a glimpse of his figure. When Zhou Dalong snapped out of his daze, he felt as if a meteor had struck his chest. The powerful blow made him feel as if his soul had been punched out. He even saw his corpse fly into the air. Then, nothing. At the same time, Zhou Erlang, who had just crawled to the door and was about to call out to his older brother, 
suddenly stopped. He happened to witness his older brother being punched to the sky by Li Yu. He immediately turned around and silently crawled back while his entire body was drenched in a cold sweat. Li Yu did not choose to use his sword to deal with these bandits. Firstly, these minions were not worthy of him drawing his sword. Secondly, he did not want their blood and corpses to dirty the ground in front of his Daoist temple. So using his fist to shatter their organs was simple and environmentally friendly. He could also directly send their corpses out of the nine-dot-tailed mountain while he was at it, simply killing two birds with one stone. Bang! 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 One bandit after another was blasted into the sky by Li Yu like cannonballs. In the end, they turned into black dots that disappeared into the horizon. Li Yu controlled his strength very precisely. He ensured that while he killed those bandits, he could also allow their trajectories, a uh, flight path to form a perfect parabola. They happened to fly out of the range of nine dot tailed mountain and accurately landed at the mouth of Shishue village, located a few kilometers away. At that moment, the villagers were busy in the fields. They saw figures falling from the sky and falling by the side of the village. The villagers rushed to the village entrance in shock. When they took a closer look at the corpses' clothes, they were overjoyed. It's, it's those bandits from Black Bear Mountain. Those mountain bandits have finally been killed. Thank you, God, for eliminating the bandits for us. My son's spirit in heaven can now rest in peace. The villagers knelt on the ground excitedly and kowtowed to the air. They had all been persecuted by the Jui Hall. Other than robbery, some had family members who died in the hands of these mountain bandits, some had daughters abducted by the bandits, and there was no news of them at all. Dot today, they witnessed that the mountain bandits were beaten to death mercilessly. They could finally vent the hatred in their hearts. On the nine dot tailed mountain, Yi Chiu watched as those bandits were sent to the west by a single punch from Li Yu. The corners of his eyes seemed to be twitching non dot stop as a chill ran down his spine. Fortunately, he did not fight him just now. Otherwise, he would probably be the one sent to heaven right now. Yi Chiu felt some lingering fear. He had never known what fear was. In the past, when he fought in martial arts, even if he encountered someone stronger than him, he had never been afraid. However, at this moment, when facing Li Yu who possessed unfathomable strength, he became a little cowardly. To be able to punch someone until they disappeared without a trace, what sort of horrifying power was that? It was probably the same for his father in the transcendence realm. Could it be that this guy had already reached the nascent soul realm or the body tempering transcendent realm? How could he compete with that? He was on a completely different level from that freak. It was like a baby challenging a grown man who could make you cry just by flicking your head. Chapter 9 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The new junior brother is the demon child. Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios, the last one. Bang! After sending the last bandit on his way up, Li Yu slapped his hands. His expression was typical, his breathing was calm, and there was no sweat on his forehead. It was as if those bandits had flown up by themselves earlier on. However, right when he was about to count his prize, a bright light suddenly flashed in his eyes, and his figure vanished on the spot again. When he reappeared, he was already on the dark side of the forest to the side. Humph, there's actually someone who slipped through the net. Li Yu said as he looked at the person who had completely fused with the tree shadow. Li Yu did not know if this guy was in cahoots with Zhou Dalong, but judging from his wretched appearance, he knew that he was not a good person. The fellow seemed to be wearing an invisibility cloak that blended in with the ground and a mask. He was the killer sent by Zhu Xiaotian with a name that struck terror into countless hearts, Viper. Viper had just received the order and was planning to attack at night. However, as he saw the large group of mountain bandits heading up the mountain aggressively, he came along to check on the situation. After all, he had to ensure Li Yu's death, and the heavenly spirit pill and the Chongming bird had to be present. Hence, 
he had been hiding in the dark to observe the situation. As a top killer, hiding his aura and figure was fundamental. And he was the best in this aspect. The various concealment techniques he cultivated could even turn him into a stone without breathing, heartbeat, or temperature. He could hide on the spot without moving for several days that even a nascent soul realm expert passing by nearby would never discover him. However, he never imagined that the concealment technique he took pride in would be easily seen through by Li Yu. This. Viper's hair stood up as a bone. Chilling cold arose. Instinctively, he attacked without hesitation. He specialized in drawing his sword. When he drew his sword, he could instantly take someone's life. He was as quick as lightning and could kill with a single strike. However, this time, his sword was snatched away by Li Yu before it could be drawn. At the same time, he received a solid punch to the chest. He was a martial arts body cultivator, and the strength of his physical body was comparable to a spirit artifact. Still, despite that, his breastbone was shattered by the power of Li Yu's punch, and his organs were reduced to slime. The top killer of the great Xia dynasty, Viper, is dead. This sword looks pretty good. Li Yu looked at the sword in his hand, which was as thin as a cicada's wing and was about two feet long. The sword emitted a faint halo while the sword Qi seemed to be breathing. It felt extraordinary. Ding, successful collection of the cicada sword. The system's voice sounded. At the same time, the mission progress of the divine weapon collection became 2-20. Aha! Li Yu was pleasantly surprised. He did not expect how easy it was to collect another divine weapon. As for the group of bandits earlier, they did not have any decent treasures on them. However, he did manage to obtain a lot of silver. Furthermore, Li Yu planned to bring Zhou Erlang to Black Bear Mountain to plunder after he was done with the renovation of the Daoist temple. Li Yu put away the treasures he had looted from the bandits. When he returned to the Daoist temple again, they saw Zhou Erlang and the group of bandits working as if they were on steroids. Their movements were clean and efficient, and their speed was more than two times faster than before. Everyone, work harder. Even if you don't eat, drink, or sleep today, you must build the house properly. You can't let the Daoist priest down. Zhou Erlang shouted. Li Yu nodded in satisfaction. This child was worth teaching. Your. Yi Chio, right. You want to spar with me? Li Yu looked at the stunned Yi Chio. Uh, about that, Yi Chio panicked, not knowing what to do. If he sparred, he would not even have a chance to counter a single hit from Li Yu. He might even become crippled for life. If he backed out, it was too embarrassing to admit defeat. However, right at this moment, a yell sounded from outside. Senior brother, senior brother, I'm back. Li Yu turned to look at the door of the Daoist temple and saw Tang Chi rush in excitedly. Tang Chi was actually six years older than Li Yu, but he was the last to enter the sect. In terms of seniority, Li Yu was definitely his senior brother. Senior brother, senior brother, when I was climbing up the mountain just now, I saw many people flying overhead. I wonder what happened in the west that so many cultivators flew there. Tang Chi said in surprise. Then, his gaze was attracted by the group of hardworking mountain bandits. Master is really. He actually hired a group of disabled people to work, all to save money. Sai, he's the only one I know who could think of that. Tang Chi shook his head and sighed. Oh yes, senior brother, I recruited a new junior brother for our sect on the way back, Tang Chi pointed at the child who walked in behind him with a smug expression. This child looked seven or eight years old, but there was a hint of evilness from his countenance. His eyes were not as innocent as a child's. Instead, they were filled with coldness and cruelty. Li Yu frowned. There is something wrong with this kid. He was definitely not an ordinary kid. To be precise, he was not a child at all. Kid, is this the big sect you're talking about? 
the child looked at the Daoist temple with two buildings and could not help but reveal a disappointed expression as he said with an old tone. Tang Chi did not mind hearing the child call him a kid. He had called him that along the way, despite Tang Chi's attempts to teach him how to address an older person. However, this child clearly did not have much upbringing and refused to change. He could not be bothered to care anymore. After all, it was already a blessing to have someone willing to enter their sect. Why would Tang Chi care about all the red tape? That's right. Our Daoist temple might not be big, but it's filled with crouching tigers and hidden dragons. If you cultivate here, you are guaranteed a limitless future. Tang Chi said shamelessly. Li Yu wanted to praise his junior brother for his thick skin. His ability to lie through his teeth was so superb that even Li Yu felt inferior in this aspect. However, it was clear that his junior brother had duped a fella that he shouldn't have provoked today. Li Yu did not speak. He pulled Tang Chi behind him and stared at the child. Indeed, before Tang Chi could finish his sentence, an extremely terrifying smile surfaced on the child's lips as his eyes suddenly turned bloodthirsty red. Well, let me see what kind of expert you're hiding here. Ha ha ha, the heavenly water pavilion is so boring. A thousand people can't even fight me. It's no fun, that the child suddenly let out a creepy laugh and jumped into the air. Demonic Chi surged out and enveloped the entire Daoist temple as if the sky was falling down on it. The terrifying pressure caused the bandits in the Daoist temple to collapse on the ground, unable to move. Tang Chi also knelt on the ground with a plop, his face filled with fear and cold sweat. He would never have thought that the little junior brother he duped along the way was actually a great demon. Chapter 10 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Is he even a human? Translator Atlas Studios Editor Atlas Studios Thud The spirit beast beside Yi Chiu was also like a bird startled by the twang of a bow. It fell from the sky and lay on the ground, unable to move. As for Yi Chiu, even though he could barely support himself to stand, he felt as if a mountain was pressing down on his chest, and he was unable to breathe. He could not even muster up any strength. At the moment, he was absolutely shocked. He never imagined encountering the demon child who destroyed the heavenly water pavilion here. On the way here, while he was resting and drinking tea in Qingyang City, he heard the surrounding people talking about the destruction of the heavenly water pavilion by the demon child. At that time, he was shocked, but he also doubted the authenticity of the news. Now, however, he could feel the pressure and aura emitted by the demonic child. Yi Chiu now believed that the demon child was the only one who could have destroyed Heavenly Water Pavilion. He was too terrifying. Although he looked like a child, he was like an insurmountable mountain that was impossible to defy. He was also like a demon god that had descended into the world, causing one's heart to tremble and one's body to go cold. Yi Chiu was like an ant in front of him, a lone boat in the middle of a raging storm. His heart was filled with despair and fear. He knew that he was probably going to die today. Although he knew that Li Yu was powerful, this demon child was a monster who had just destroyed the entire heavenly water pavilion alone. Probably no one in the entire great Xia dynasty was his match, let alone the 17.year.old Li Yu. Surely all of them would die today. At this moment, Li Yu also had a trace of surprise on his face. However, he was not surprised by how terrifying and powerful this demonic child was. The system interface popped up in front of him again. There was information regarding the demon child on it. At the bottom were the bold red words. You can obtain 15 prestige points by killing the demon child. He had killed Sherpatian for only 3 points and 1 point for killing those bandits from the Ji Hall. And this demonic child was already worth 15 prestige points. Holy shit, so this is a big boss. Li Yu instantly became serious. Thud. Under this torrential demonic pressure, Yi Chiu finally could not withstand it anymore and knelt on the ground. He felt as if his body was about to collapse. It was as if the pressure was sufficient to crush him to death. 
Meanwhile, Tang Chi and the bandits could not withstand the pressure anymore and faint. In an instant, only Li Yu remained standing on the spot without moving. The demon child looked at Li Yu in surprise, his eyes revealing a trace of excitement. He could actually stand firm under my presence. This brat got some strength. Ha ha ha, I never expected that there would be a surprise in this inconspicuous Daoist temple. Kid, you are outstanding. I'm going to kill you. The demon child's smile became even more ferocious and terrifying. He liked to kill, but he preferred to kill experts. Stepping on ants was definitely different from the pleasure of killing a dragon. Therefore, seeing that Li Yu seemed powerful, the demon child was truly incomparably excited. He felt that he could finally have some fun and slowly torture this kid to death. Eat his meat, drink his blood, and devour his soul. The more the demonic child thought about it, the more excited he became. His laughter became increasingly sharp and sinister, like a demon from the netherworld that gave one the creeps. Li Yu didn't say a word as he withdrew the sword behind him, and his figure instantly vanished on the spot. As the air exploded, Li Yu seemed to contain the power of heaven and earth as he pressed down on the demon child. The demon child's laughter stopped abruptly as his expression changed drastically. He hurriedly retreated as a sense of death that he had never felt before arose. Although Li Yu did not release any magic power or aura, it still gave him a palpitating pressure. Fear. This was a feeling he had never experienced before. Ever since he was born, he had never experienced what fear was. He had always been the one who brought fear, death, and destruction to others. However, the moment Li Yu rushed over, he sensed it. It was an instinctive fear. This person was superior and more terrifying than him. Bang! Li Yu swung his sword. It was an ordinary strike, but it shook heaven and earth. A black rift was torn open in the space, and it was like a black bolt of lightning that instantly swept towards the demonic child. The demon child's blood eyes widened as all the hair on his body stood up. A bone dot chilling cold swept through his body. The shadow of death pressed down like a giant hand from the heavens. He suddenly experienced the feelings of those he had killed. No, don't, he cried out in terror, wanting to escape, but he was instantly enveloped by the sword's blast. The terrifying destructive power immediately tore apart the domain around him, tearing apart his body and the entire sky. Boom! The void was like a shattered mirror as it collapsed. Countless cracks spread as the surrounding space began to collapse. The terrifying devouring power sucked the demon child, torn apart by the sword's blast, into it. The demon child's broken body transformed into countless ferocious ghosts. He screamed miserably and struggled to escape. However, a black pearl and a small translucent sword surfaced from the demon child's dispersed body. Li Yu's eyes flashed as he sped over and grabbed the two items. Ding, successful collection of natural oddities. Demon spirit pearl. Ding, successful collection of divine weapon. Sky water sword. The system's voice sounded. At the same time, the collection of natural oddities increased to 1 slash 10. The mission progress of the divine weapon collection became 3 slash 20. Delight surfaced in Li Yu's eyes. He did not expect this boss to drop such good items, helping him obtain two treasures at once. In the sky, the terrifying space devouring power sucked the demon child's body and demonic chi into the collapsed space and disappeared. Soon, the collapsed space rapidly recovered. When the sky returned to normal, everything calmed down. With the demon child dead, the demonic aura dissipated, the suppression disappeared. Yi Chiu, who had a mountain of pressure on him, felt as if a heavy burden had been lifted from his shoulders. He was like a drowning person who had climbed onto the shore and finally caught his breath. His face was still filled with shock and fear. However, it was no longer because of the demon child. It was because of Li Yu. Li Yu's sword had actually shattered the sky. 
The demon child, who had annihilated the entire heavenly water pavilion, had actually been insta-killed by him. Is he even human? The shock in Yi Chiu's heart could no longer be described with words. When he looked at Li Yu again, he was left with reverence and admiration for him. Yi Chiu had always been a proud person. Born with extraordinary talent, he felt that he was the chosen one. He had never submitted to anyone, nor did he admire anyone before. In his opinion, as long as he worked hard, he could surpass and defeat anyone. At the moment, though, after facing Li Yu, his pride collapsed and his confidence had dispersed. This person's powers seemed to be something he could never surpass no matter how hard he tried. He finally understood why the Heavenly Dao rankings would bestow an additional reward to Li Yu. After all, Li Yu was not on the same level as ordinary people like him. Li Yu was on the Hidden Dragon rankings only because he was in the same age group. If there was a power ranking, he would probably rank top two. In the entire Xia dynasty, or even in this world, there was probably no one who could compete with him.